Hi, it's Janie and welcome back to my channel. And today I have an Ulta haul for you and also some other products that is going to be included in the Ulta haul. And um, so if you're interested in knowing what I have been up to in um, beauty purchases, then stick around. Okay, so I have to start off by saying that I'm on a no buy. <laughs> After you see all this stuff, you're going to be thinking, now, yeah, right. Anyway, I haven't purchased any beauty products since Jan uh, December 26th. And so nothing has been brought in to the home um, beauty-wise that I have purchased myself. And the reason why I waited this long to show you anything is because... Um, what I've been waiting for was my Christmas present and it did not ship out until January 21st, which I knew that was going to be the case when I placed the order and when I had asked for it for Christmas. So anyway, so we're going to get started um, with what I have here and I'll let you know when we get to what I got for Christmas. So that's why I haven't had a what I got for Christmas video up. So I'm going to start out first with a product that was sent to me from Octoly. And, um, and then we're going to kind of demo it for you because I don't have one of these products on. And I'm making sure I brought my brush with me. I did. And it's from Becca. And it's a new highlighter that they just came out with. And it's to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And um, I guess the year for the Chinese year is the year of the pig. And so there's a really cute little pig right there on the packaging. Can you see the little pig right there? So cute. Anyway, let me see if I can see what this says. Got stuff piled up on my, um, it's the Shimmery Skin Perfector. Um, you're in the pig. And what is the color of this? Does it have a color? I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it was cute, and I know you can get this at Ulta, you can get this at Sephora, um, probably wherever makeup is sold, pretty much, you know, department stores, and it's just called the Year of the Pig. Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed, and I guess the color is Year of the Pig. Yeah, and it's just in their normal packaging, that is normally Becca, and it has the pig embossed on the highlighter itself. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? Probably not, but let's do a little swatch. Looks like that there, and there it is on my hand, but we're going to demo it, and I brought my little Sonia G fan brush that I like to use for highlight, and we're going to put some on, and if you think, if you're wondering what I'm looking at, I have my mirror here now. So, oh, you see that? How pretty that is? Mmm, it's pretty. It almost looks like um, their champagne color. I wonder if that's what it is. It's just their normal champagne. I like to put it down my nose. I really like my nose to be shiny. I know some people with oily skin are like, ah! But I like my nose to be shiny. And I like to kind of smile a little bit and get my apples to be shiny. Because I really like a dewy look to my skin because I have dry skin. So I like to be nice and dewy looking. So yeah, it's really pretty though. Looks like they're normal um, highlighters. So there we go. Very pretty. So if you see the the year of the, the pig, um, it is pretty. But I think if you have all of the other... Becca highlighters. You probably don't necessarily need this one. I think it's pretty much similar to the the opal or the champagne one. But if you don't have any of these and you want one that's got a really cute pig embossed on it, then you would like that one. So that was sent to me from Octoly and very pretty. And then what I purchased from Ulta is I got, I wanted to try a new vitamin C serum, so I got this one here from Mad Hippie, 
and it's their vitamin C serum. So I've been using this in my rotation. Um, I've been using this one in the May Love, and so I'm about down to here already. And so far, I really have been enjoying this one. Um, it's a vitamin C. It says it's a has eight actives with cognac root, uh, ferulic, and hyaluronic acid in it. Um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about it because I'm probably going to do a separate review on it, but I did pick that up and have it in my rotation that I've been using. I also did get this little kit here from Becca, and it's the Prep Blush and Glow, and I mainly wanted it for the blush that was in it. It's just this little blush here in Camellia, which looks like this here. It's really pretty. And I think it was on sale. It was No, it was just normal. It's $15. It was $15, but it came with this little blush, which is what I wanted. It's just a small size, but it's okay because um, that will last me a lifetime. This is a really pretty pinky peach nude not a nude, but like a pinky peach color. Let's see if I can get that twisted around right. There we go, where you can see the color. And then it came with a highlight, and I'm not gonna swatch this highlighter because I have this highlighter, and so I'll probably put this in a giveaway, but it's in Moonstone is the highlighter, which looks like that right there, kind of a um, very light champagne color. So that's in the color Moonstone. And then it had also a um, primer, and I like this primer. This is the First Light Primer Filter, and I figured this would be a really good travel primer. So if we get to go anywhere again, then this would be a good one to take in my travel bag. So I'm gonna toss these down here in that box. Also from Ulta, and then you can get this at Ulta or at Sephora, but this was sent to me from Ottilie. Um, I did just post a full review of this product, so I'm just gonna to touch briefly on this, and it's from First Aid Beauty, and it's the Retinol Eye Cream. Um, it's a very gentle eye, um, eye cream that has um, micro-encapsulated retinol, so it's like a time-released retinol, so it's very gentle. You're not gonna get the irritation like you would if you just put a straight up retinol cream underneath your eyes, so it's very gentle. You can get this at Ulta or Sephora. It's $42, but if you wanna see a full review of that, I'll put an eye card up here so that you can look at that video. And then um, Ulta, right at Christmas, they had this kit here, I got it backwards. So they had this for 35% off or 30% off and then we had a, I say we, my daughter and I, we had a 20% off coupon and we each got one of these and it's the um, Philosophy Pure Grace Nude Rose um, perfume set and it came with the body lotion and then the um, the, toilet, the toilet spray and in the rose scent. Oh, it smells so good, so good. I haven't been using it because it's been sitting in the box waiting for me to do this haul, but it was normally $49, and I think it ended up with the discount and everything being like right around $31, $30. It was a really good deal on that. So we, both of us got one of those. And then um, from, Joeva's Place, and I meant to put this in another haul, and I forgot it, so I'm gonna add it into this haul that I had ordered the this highlighter, and it was the, um, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3, and the packaging, this is what gets me from Joeva's Place, is the packaging is just so pretty. Not only is it on the outer packaging, but it's on the product itself. I mean, they don't, they don't, sh what is it, you know, cut costs and just do it on one or the other. They do it on both. But this is really, really pretty. And, you know, a lot of times with the Joeva's Place, because um, it is a little bit more geared toward um, 
people uh, with darker skin toned. And so some of their highlighters are for people that are darker, but they've came out with this one that is definitely for people that are a little bit lighter skin tone like myself. And so this is so pretty and it's really pretty on the eyes. And I have it in my highlighter drawer that is in my, um, my highlighter drawer that is the current um, rotation drawer <laughs> is in that drawer. So look how pretty that is. I mean, it's like, bam. <laughs> I mean, it is like a star on your face. It is so pretty, but it's pretty on the cheeks and it's definitely really pretty on the eyes. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you that. So if you've looked at the highlighters on that website before and you're thinking, oh, those are so dark. You can also get these on um, Ulta. Look at this one. Um, this one will work for your um, skin tone. If you're light like me, or even if you're a little bit darker, it will work. And it's the Tribe Highlighter Volume Number 3. So they finally came out with one that's for a little bit paler skin toned. And then I went to Walgreens, Walgreens, yes. And because I was out of my um, perfume that I wear at night, and it is the Skin Musk Perfume Oil, which is, it comes in a box that looks like this. So if you want to purchase it, that's what you want to look for. It's around, used to be $10, but now it's like $13.99, $14. And it looks like this. I've worn it for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. But I have to tell you, this bottle, for one, the color is not the same color that it used to be. It used to be it was a little bit darker, like almost had like a, a yellow tint to it, like a really slight yellow tint. And this one is almost like clear white. I mean, you can see, you can see through the bottle right there. And it's not as strong as it used to be. I hope they haven't changed the formula and cut cost again and have taken out some of the musk. I mean, it still smells good. It's just not as strong. I had um, heard someone talk about this Wet n Wild mascara and it's called Get the Skinny. Um, even lash, captures every lash. But um, it's perf it says perfect for lower lash line. And so I thought, okay, maybe this would be a good replacement for the Clinique um, lower lash mascara. Because this is like $12 and this was like $3, I think, $3 or $4. But the problem that I have with this is when it comes out, it's like so goopy. And then this wand right here is just really too long to do underneath the lash line, the lower lash line. It really is, and plus it's just too goopy, so I don't really like it for the lower lash line like I thought it would. See where the Clinique one, the little wand is just perfect for the lower lash line. It's just absolutely perfect. So I was like, wah, wah. So I thought I had found, you know, a perfect um, alternative to the Clinique that was going to be a whole lot cheaper because you know, shoot, I could buy like three of these versus one of these, but it didn't work out that way. And then off of Amazon, I ordered these little blade thingies. Um, what are these called? Miss Miss Gorgeous from London for to do their eyebrow razors, but I I bought them to do my microblading. And I'm not for sure about these. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Because um, they look like this. I mean, it's definitely a like a straight razor. I'm definitely not going to use these on my brows. Um, but no. I had ordered a couple of years ago a big old box of the Tinkle eyebrow shapers that I use to um, defuzz my face. But I have used those up. I'm down to the last one. So I had seen a review of these. And I thought, well, I'm going to give those a try. But I'm kind of nervous about them. But I did get those. So I'm going to give them a try whenever I work up the nerve to do that. So 
we're gonna we're gonna see. <sighs> kind of scared. Okay, so what I wanted for Christmas is every year Beauty Lish does their lucky bag, and it's they go on sale December the 26th, and then they ship out January 21st. And basically, it's just a grab bag that either is $75 for the regular bag or $150 for the XL bag. And I wanted the, the extra large bag that was $150, so my husband gave me $150 to buy the extra large bag. Well, to get the extra large bag, you pretty much had to be a ninja to be able to get it because it sold out just like that. So I wasn't able to get the extra large bag, but I was able to <clears throat> finagle my way and kind of cheat the system and get two of the large bags. So I'm going to show you the products that were in my two large bags. And um, they say that each of those bags are you're guaranteed to get at least $150 worth of products in those bags. Now, of course, you know, with it being a grab bag, you don't know what you're gonna get, and you being a beauty junkie like I am, you do run the risk of getting products that you, one, could already have, and of course, two, products that you're not gonna like. So, with that being said, let's get started, and I'll show you what I got. So, and I just combined everything here, so keep in mind this is two bags. So in each of my bag, I got a brush. I did get a Sonia G bag or Sonia G brush in one bag. And this one is the Worker One brush, which I did. I do have one of these. And I think I do. Do I have a worker one? I don't remember. But anyway, this was a good. This was good. I liked this. And even if I do have one, having another one is not a bad thing. So I was glad to get this. And this is around 30 something dollars. So and then the other one, the other bag, I got a Wayne Goss brush. And this is the number 19 brush. I do have one of these, one of these. This is a crease brush. But I'm okay with getting another one because I can always use another little crease brush. I'm fine with that. And then in one of the bags, I got a Viseart um, Theory eyeshadow palette. And this is retail value of $45. But unfortunately, it is one that I have. So I'm going to be selling this one. So... I did get that one, so I was kind of disappointed in that. I was really hoping I would have gotten the Natasha Denona camel palette that I've seen some people getting. So I was like, oh. And then in one of the bags, I got this little Stila um, iridescent um, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow set, which I didn't mind getting this because I don't have any of these colors in my collection even though I have quite a few of those. So I was okay with getting this. And it's just a little mini, so I don't think I have to worry about them drying out. I'll have to double check my collection and make sure I don't have these. I have quite a few of them, but I wanna make sure that I don't have them. If I do have, by chance, have one of these colors, I'll just give what I have to my daughter. So that's no big deal. And then I got <laughs> this when I seen it. I was like, oh man, I should have waited on the other one to order the other one. But I got a Surratt eyelash curler. Um, I had been wanting this and wanting this and wanting this. And then a while, a little while ago, Sephora ran Surratt 50% off. Do y'all remember that? And um, I was able to snag one of these during that 50% off. So. I already have one of these, so I'm thinking I'll probably just give this to my daughter, so that's okay. That, that was okay. And then I got this. This I was really disappointed in, and this was from jo Joy, and it's the Powder Highlighter Trio. And the reason why I was so disappointed in this is because I got this in, my, in last year's Lucky Bag. So I already have all these because I got these last year. So I thought it was kind of a dud to get these again. I thought, you know, what, are, what was the odds <laughs> of getting the same product two years in a row? So that will probably um, be probably 
in a giveaway or something. This this was okay. At first I was like, uh, I didn't want that, but then I got to thinking, well, it's Beauty Blenders. It's the original Beauty Blender Party on the Go or Pro on the Go. Um, it's a $40 kit. It has a blotterazzi um, little pro blotter thingy. I won't use that. I don't have oily skin, but I'm going to give it to my daughter. She has an oily t-zone so i'm gonna give that to her for her to use but then it has these beauty blenders and then the little baby beauty blender and the soap i'm gonna keep that for myself but i'll give her that so that was okay that was okay and then i got um the sugar peel lipstick and when i first seen this the packaging i thought oh is that going to be a pink a pink color lipstick I'm like oh, I'm not really into pink and then I opened it up and I seen it was a red I was like oh yeah and it's what I got on and it's in the color nurse so I was excited about getting that so that was right up my alley and then I got a um, from VDL the Luma layer primer fresh so and when I seen that I was pretty stoked about it because I already have the Luma Layer Primer, the original. So in this one, the only difference between these two is this one has a little bit of a glow factor to it. So I like this. I've been using it for um, a couple days now. And just adds a little bit of a glow, glowiness, dewiness, I guess I should say. So that's what the primer that I'm wearing today. So I like that. I like this brand. It's a Korean brand that Beautylish carries. If you haven't heard about it or seen it, you should probably check it out. They have um, foundation that I want to try, but I'm trying to use up some foundations before I do that. And then um, this next product, I was pretty excited to get it, even though it's had a lot of bad reviews. And even though it was a... A product that came out last year and I was pretty excited about it until I went shopping yesterday and I seen it at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks and so that really lowered the value of my bag because um, when I was figuring you know what my value of my bag was you know I was figuring that this was a $45 value but when I seen it at TJ Maxx, it's really only a twenty dollar value, and it's this eyeshadow palette from Anastasia, which is the subculture palette, and it's what I'm wearing on my eyes. I did wear it today, so to me that was kind of a want want. <laughs> I've worn it two days in a row. Um, if you watched um, yesterday's video, you would have seen it on also, but so. That was kind of me. And then they sent in everybody's bag a coming soon product, which is from Good Molecules. And it's the Wake Up Eye Serum. Some people got the Wake Up Eye Serum and some people got a facial um, serum or a peptide product. And I was hoping in each of my bag I would have got one of each, but I ended up getting um, the eye serum in both bags. So I will probably um, do a giveaway with one of these after I do some research and use this a little bit longer because I'm having some a little bit of, um, I don't know, I'm going to do a review on this product. I'm going to do a little bit more research on it as soon as I can find some information on it. Right now there's hardly any information out there on um, the web on it. And um, I have some concerns with the ingredient deck on it. I also have some concerns with um, their, um, their tagline that they have on here and what they are um, promoting to have in it and what they're using. Well, I'll just tell you. Um, their, their, their tagline on here on there is that it has formulated with caffeine and pumpkin, pumpkin extract to brighten, firm, and depuff. Okay, but when you look, look on the ingredient deck for those products, those ingredients, they are 
way down there on the ingredient deck. Um, the pumpkin extract is next to last on the ingredient deck. So there's barely any of that product, that ingredient in the ingredient deck. So how can that be even beneficial? I mean, there's not even, there's probably not even enough in there to even really do anything. And caffeine is pretty low on the ingredient deck also. So, and for them to, you know, be promoting those two ingredients as what's the, what's the, the wow factor that's going to really promote the deep puffing and be what you want to be putting on here that's going to help to brighten and firm and deep puff. Hmm. And so I'm really going to start doing some research on what these other ingredients are and what they're doing and I'm just not for sure about them. So anyway, we'll see. So anyway, that's it. That's a, that was a long haul, wasn't it? But anyway, that is it for the haul. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.